How's it going guys? It's Snipe City and today's video we're bringing you guys a brand new series where we'll be simulating the career of an NHL top prospect. So in this video we're actually going to be simulating the career of Shane Wright, the 2022 projected first overall pick from the Kingston Frontenacs. Alright so as you guys can see here he does end up going second overall actually because there's like a randomly generated player and what is the coincidence that he goes to the Montreal Canadiens as well? So Shane Wright is a Montreal Canadian. As you can see, he starts off an 81 overall medium elite potential. So he did get 125 points last season. Not too bad at all for a second overall pick. Should be a first overall, but whatever. Let's see the lines now for the Habs. So they have him on the second line alongside of Zubov and Lundell. So I guess the Habs have progressed in the past couple of years. So now looking at the lines, let's get into year one of the simulation to see how Shane Wright does with the Habs. Okay, so year one does see the Habs fall to 7th in the Atlantic Division with a 36-38-8 record as they are 27th in the entire NHL. Shane Wright does put up 27 points with 7 goals and 20 assists for a minus 16 and stays at an 81 overall. The Calder Trophy for this year does go to Robertson with the Dallas Stars, however. In year two of Shane Wright's career, the Habs do get some slight improvements, but just missed out on the playoffs with 86 points at a 39, 35, and 8 record. They do fall 23rd in the NHL, and Shane Wright does put up 40 points at 13 goals and 27 assists. With this, his overall goes up to an 84. Year four sees the Habs making the playoffs for the first time in a while, with 90 points at a 42, 34, and 6 record to finish fifth in the Atlantic and 15th in the entire NHL. Unfortunately, however, they are kicked out in the second round by the Toronto Maple Leafs. For Shane Wright, we do see him putting up a slight improvement on the last year with 48 points, 12 goals, and 36 assists, and 10 points in 14 games in the playoffs. With this, his overall does go up to an 86, and we do see him signing a six-year, $7.58 million extension with the Habs. Year 4 is a pretty uneventful one, as the Habs fall back up to 7th in the Atlantic Division with a 39-35-8 record. I forgot to get the uh, league standings, so that's my bad on my part. Sherry does end up with 49 points for 4 goals and 45 assists, as we do see him go up to an 88 overall. Year 5 does have the Habs making it back into the playoffs with a 45-29-8 a record to be 7th in the entire NHL. Unfortunately, however, they are kicked out once again by the Toronto Maple Leafs, this time in Game 6 of Round 1. We do see Shane Wright also putting up 59 points for 11 goals and 48 assists as he goes up to an 89 overall. Year 6 does see the Habs go back down to 8th in the entire Atlantic Division with 79 points and 25th in the entire NHL. With this, however, Shane Wright does have a career high with 75 points, 15 goals, and 60 assists, but does stay at 89 overall. While year 7 sees the Habs getting an improvement in points, they do fall 6th in the entire Atlantic Division, but are 13th in the entire league, somehow missing out on the playoffs. Pretty weird situation. Shane Wright does put up a 62 points, so a drop off from last year with 18 goals and 44 assists, but stays at an 89 overall. So in year 8, the Habs do have a big bounce back season, getting 103 points and being 3rd in the Atlantic Division and 6th in the entire league. This will bring them all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals, where they will be unfortunately eliminated by the Edmonton Oilers in 6 games. For Shane Wright, he does set a career high with 81 points in 82 games for 18 goals and 63 assists. And in the playoffs, does put up 21 points in 25 games. With this, his overall does go up to a 90. After a pretty successful year, the Habs do fall back to 5th in the division with 92 points out of 42, 32, and 8 record, as well as being 13th in the entire league. With this, they do fall in the first round to the Buffalo Sabres in just 6 games. Mary does put up a monstrous season with 5 goals and 85 assists for 90 points, quite a difference there, and uh, 4 points in 6 games in the playoffs. With this, he does go up to a 92 overall at age 27, and in the offseason, does sign a six-year, $11.355 million extension. 
So in year 10, despite the pretty low point total, the Habs do finish 1st in the Atlantic, along with 9th in the entire NHL. With this, however, it does catch up to them as they do get swept in the first round by the Carolina Hurricanes. Shane Wright does set a new career high once again with 93 points in 7 goals and 86 assists, and the playoffs puts up 1 assist in 4 games. With this, he stays at 92 overall. Now this does cap off the 10th year in Shane Wright's career so far, so just look at how his stats are 10 years in. So he has 818 games played, with 110 goals, 514 assists to combine for 624 points. Unfortunately, he has not won any cups or awards just yet, and has spent his entire career with the Montreal Canadiens. So far, he has been very productive, especially as a second-line center in Montreal. So hopefully in the next couple of years, we can see him keep it up and hopefully win something big for the Habs. For the fourth straight year, we see the Habs making the playoffs with 93 points and a 43-32-7 record to finish 12th in the entire league. Unfortunately, however, they do get swept by the eventual Stanley Cup winner, the New York Rangers, in the conference finals. Shane Wright puts up an absolutely insane season with 114 points in 82 games and 15 points throughout 14 playoff games. With this, he does stay at a 92 overall. Year 12 sees the Habs making the playoffs once again, getting 2nd in the Atlantic with 102 points at a 47-27-8 record, and 6th in the entire league. Once again, however, the Sim is not in their favor as they get swept in the conference finals once again by the Carolina Hurricanes, who will then get swept by the eventual Stanley Cup winner, the San Jose Sharks. Shane Wright gets his 2nd consecutive 100-point season with 103 points as 11 goals and 92 assists in 82 games, and 19 playoff points in 17 games. With this, he will stay at 92 overall. With the Habs once again getting 2nd in the Atlantic Division and 9th in the entire league, the playoffs do not seem to be in their favor, as they fall to the Florida Panthers in just 6 games. For the first time in 3 years, Shane Wright also get, falls out of the 100 point club with only getting 95 points, but in the playoffs does stay consistent with 6 assists in 6 games, keeping him at 92 overall. Year 14 does see the Habs getting back into 1st place in the Atlantic Division with 98 points and 8th in the entire league. With this, however, they do not make it past the first round once again, getting eliminated by Pittsburgh in just 5 games. We do see a drop off by the 32 year old Shane Wright getting only 86 points in 82 games with 9 goals and 77 assists and putting up 4 assists in 5 games in the playoffs. With this, we do see his first overall decrease going down to a 91. For the second year in a row, the Habs do get first in the Atlantic Division with 106 points and 49 wins, 25 losses, and 8 OT losses, and 5th in the entire league. As opposed to years have passed, the Habs finally were able to win the Stanley Cup, losing only three games in their quest to Lord Stanley. They beat the Anaheim Ducks in the finals in just five games. Shane Wright was able to bounce back, gaining 93 points in 82 games with 10 goals and 83 assists, and the playoffs put up a very solid performance with 19 points in 19 games. He did go back up to 92 overall after winning the Stanley Cup, and just because I was curious, I checked who won the Continental and it was actually Cole Caulfield. After winning the Cup, the Habs do decide to re-sign him at two more years for $12.975 million. So after winning the Cup, we do see the Habs have the best regular season in a while, getting first in Atlantic and in the entire league, capturing the President's Trophy. However, this does not go in their favor in the playoffs, as after winning the Cup, they get beaten in five games by the New York Islanders in just round one. Shane Ray does have a massive drop-off, getting only 77 points in 82 games with 7 goals and 70 assists, and the playoffs only gets 2 assists in 5 games. With this, it goes down to 90 overall. While putting up only 92 points, the Habs still do manage to get 1st in the Atlantic Division and 13th in the entire league with the 45-35-2 and two record. But once again, they do get swept in the first round by the New York Islanders, something that is becoming very constant. Shane Wright does have a huge drop off in points once again with only 67 points for 16 goals and 51 assists, and in the playoffs only gets one goal and one assist. His age is definitely starting to show. With this drop off at 36 years old, he does go down to an 85 overall. In year 18, we see the Habs getting third in the Atlantic with 94 points and 43, 31, and 8 record, and ninth in the entire league. But once again, and you guessed it, the Habs did get swept in the first round by the Detroit Red Wings. Sherry put up a bit more points this year with 73 points and 9 goals and 64 assists, and in the playoffs produced a goal and 2 assists. With this, he does say an 85 overall, 
and in the offseason, does decide to part ways with Montreal and go to Anaheim for a one-year $9.305 million contract. So it seems like Anaheim definitely was not the place to go to as they only finished with 83 points with 39-38 and 5 record, finishing 7th in the division and 22nd in the entire NHL, missing out on the playoffs. And with this not so great season, the former 2nd overall pick does decide to call it quits at the age of 38. Shane Wright did have a pretty good career I would say, um, his stats definitely show that, his achievements over the past couple decades of his game. Definitely show that. He does end up as an 82 overall. So that being said, let's take a look at his full career stats. So over the span of a 19-year career, Shane Wright did spend the majority of it with the Montreal Canadiens and decided to take one year with the Anaheim Ducks. Over 1,638 games played, he scored 228 goals, 1,247 assists to make up 1,475 points and a plus-minus of 60. With this, he also won one Stanley Cup with the Montreal Canadiens, who were very dominant for many years and finally had the chance to win it. Shane Wright did peak at 92 overall, which is pretty good considering the second overall pick, and the most money we saw him make in a contract was around $12.9 million per year. So guys, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my career simulation for Shane Wright. Hopefully this does pan out in real life, as that would be pretty cool to see him progress that far and with the obviously with the Habs. So once again, guys, I just want to thank you for watching the video, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Peace.